Hi again. In the previous presentation we created an image on the VMware and installed SLAS on it. That was the node 1. Now for the cluster we're going to create the second node, basically just copying the first one and modify some settings. Copy and paste. Okay, during this time I would like to make my things easier and adding some entries to my local host file. Okay, so the first node IP address was 172.16.87.101, that was node 1, and another one 172.16.87.102, that was the node 2, and I also adding another entry for the cluster which will be the service IP. It means when it, it, it will be always points to the active node. And let's call it MQ cluster. Okay. Right. Now we are done with this. Okay, we have the second node. Let's change it to node 2. And also have to modify some files in it. On the other operating systems like Windows or Linux, obviously no need to go to the package contents, just modify the node1.vmx file. I just want to change uh, the display name, which is somewhere here, uh, display name to node2, and leave every entries as it is. It's quite simple. And also, uh, just keep this file in your text editor because we need it later. Right. Okay, let's open the two VMware image. Uh, node 1 is powered off, let's power on. And also, okay, we don't have the CD ROM anymore. Open the second node, what we just created. Now we can see it's node 2. Uh, I suggest to press the copy it button because it will change uh, some of the MAC addresses of the Ethernet devices. Okay, on the second node, what we have to do is first of all modify the host name, and the second one, when you are copying, when we copied the first uh, node, the old MAC addresses are still in the repository. We have to delete them and change it uh, to the new ones because now all of the Ethernet devices on, on, the ho on the node 2, starting with number 3, which should be uh, 0. So we have to change uh, the UDEV parameters and point it to the right uh, device file. You can see here, 3, 4 and 5 instead of 0, 1 and 2. I open the config file again because I closed it. Right, first change the node, sorry, the host name. Okay, let's change it to 2. And also have to change the uh, host file. OK, 
Okay, let's change this to two and add another entry to the another node, which is 172.16.87.101, and this is node one dot site, and the alias is node one. Right. Okay. Now change the entries what I said previously which is in etc.udev.rulesd and it's in 30 okay these are coming from the previous system uh, 1, nil and 2 just delete them and change the ethernet device ID to the right one, which is you can see here, nine one is uh, Ethernet one. Okay, uh, eighty seven is Ethernet nil. And Ethernet four is two. 9b yeah okay now change the IP address okay change this one to 102 and I suggest to restart the server. If everything is fine, we should ping the servers successfully. Yep, node one is working. Sorry, one step is still missing. Change the host name on the node one. Add the other node here. This is 172.16.87.102 uh, node 2 dot site and the alias is node 2. Let's log into the node 2. Here it's 102 Ethernet mail and ping node 2. It's working. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's watch the next video as well.